this advanced tutorial, we're going to see the integration of Mocha tools with our plugins since many of our tools support mats, points, and masks from other software. And since Mocha can export mats, masks, corner pin, stabilization, and transform data, I can demonstrate with some examples of this integration. In this first example, we'll start with a basic use of Mocha shape data. Since a lot of our tools can use mask shapes, we will use two of our plugins to show these examples in context. We will use our PV Feather plugin to add extra feathering to the shapes, and our SmoothKit Directional with Splines plugin to add directional blur from the shape data. We will also be using After Effects and the Bow Mask Avenger plugin to link the mask vertices from one mask to another via a simple pick whip expression. I'm going to start by showing you these seven frames we'll use for most of these examples. I go to Mocha where I've already tracked a shape around the back of the book. I can export the shape data. I choose copy to clipboard and then I go back to After Effects and add a new solid. I'll make sure I'm on frame zero and then Go to Edit, Paste, Mocha Mask. We can see that this has pasted a shape that tracks with the back of my book. In the next step, we'll apply one of our plugins, PV Feather, to the solid. If we open Layer 1, the red solid, we can see that we have a mask that came from Mocha. I'll set that mode to None. If we open PV Feather Effect, which should be the first effect, on our solid, we will leave the mode on Add. We will select Book Roto Mat for Inside Mat, and we'll change the offset amount to minus 20. Now I go to Select Action and Duplicate and Offset Inner Mask. What we're doing here is creating an inside and an outside mask that feather and we can add an effect to the back of the book and we'll hold everything back around it and that will animate per frame since we tracked it in Mocha and exported that data to After Effects and our plugins. So that's the first part. Now we can duplicate Layer 2, which is the original footage, and we'll turn off the visibility of Layer 3 for now. We'll go to Track Mat and select the Alpha. I can go to layer 1 and copy the mask book roto mat and paste it on layer 2. Okay, now I'll add smooth kit directional with splines to layer 2. Inside smooth kit directional splines, I'll change the lens mod mode to scale lin spline setting. So, this will allow us to modulate the length and direction of the blur based on the actual spline we set up. I'll change the length amount to 35 so you can really see what's happening. You can see that since we have lines on all four sides, we're getting a swirling boxy effect. This is just to demonstrate to you what this is doing, but it's not necessarily the effect we want. We just want the blur to be straight across, not all the way around. In this case, the shape is simple, so it could be easy to duplicate the mask and delete points to get open shapes. But we'll use another tool here to show you in case you have a more complex situation than this. I'm going to delete this shape, Book Roto Mat, and turn the effect off for now. We can use the pen tool to draw two lines. It doesn't matter where they are now because we'll add Effect Bow Mask Avenger to expose the XY vertices of each point of the mask and we're going to link that data to each point of these lines using expressions. I select Book Roto Mat, and you'll see that it generates the data for each vertex point of the mask, and that's for each frame. Now we apply Mask Avenger to the new masks that we just made with the pin tool. We can turn off the visibility of the background footage again so we can focus on the back of the book. We go to Mask Avenger for Mask 1 and we select Mask 1. And then we can go to Mask Avenger for Mask 2 and select Mask 2. 
We select the first two points of the first mask by shift clicking and going to Animation, Add Expression. And we can use the Pick Whip to link point one of the new mask point one, which is the top left corner of the book. And then we can link point two to point five. Now we go to the second mask and we select the two points and go to Animation, Add Expression. And we can again use the Pick Whip to link point one to point seven and point two to point nine. We can turn the Smooth Kit Directional Blur effect back on. Now we can turn Mask Avenger visibility off and the original background layer, layer 3, and we can add that hand back in over the blurred new book back by going to Mocha and this time we select the right hand mat that we made previously. This is using the same tracking data we used for the book back. We select right hand and go to Export Shape Data. We copy to clipboard and then go to After Effects and add the original footage of the girl to the top to add her hand back in over the blurred book. We'll make sure we're on frame zero and go to Edit, Paste Mocha Mask to use the hand mat. Now we have the clean hand without the blur tracked back in over the top with the help of Mocha. Just to recap, we also used Revision Effects Smooth Kit Directional Blur with Splines, PV Feather, and Boa Mask Avenger, and let's not forget After Effects. This is Example 1, Part 1 of this tutorial. Now for Example 2, Part 2. We're going to add another variable, which is the addition of stabilization and corner pinning. What if we decide that we want stabilization before the effect? We can drop Example 1 as a base layer and paste the layer transform on that. So how we do that would be to duplicate the example one layer. Then we go to Mocha and we're going to export the corner pin data for the back of the book. We export After Effects corner pin only. Go to frame zero and then paste the data on example one layer one. So now we can see the corner pin footage inside the book back. We can turn off the corner pin effect and go back to Mocha and copy to clipboard the stabilization and transform only data. This time we choose the glasses that we tracked to stabilize with in order to get a smooth horizontal pan. We can go to the Stabilize tab and export stabilized tracking data for position, scale, and rotation only. And we copy that to the clipboard and then we return to After Effects. And now in After Effects, we go to Layer 2, which is the copy of Example 1 footage from Layer 1. And we paste the stabilization data on the transform for Layer 2. Now we need to turn the visibility off for Layer 1, or we don't see the stabilization from Layer 2 because Layer 1 is on. Now we add Remap Planner to Layer 1 after I turn the visibility back on. And we can add this project, Deep Blue Solid. It's just the word book that we'll use to remap to the back of the book. For the registration mode, we select Project, Corner Pin, and then for Alt Projection Source, we choose Layer 1, Deep Blue Solid. We're going to use the corner pin that we got from Mocha as the data for remap planar. So we'll add expressions to Position 1 through 4 Source. We can Shift Select all four and go to Animation, Add expression. Now we twirl open each point source to expose the pick whips for each one. We twirl open the corner pin effect and link the pick whip for position one source to upper left, position two source to upper right, position three source to lower right, and position four source to lower left. Note the left and right points are in reverse order compared to the corner pin data. Now we need to do the same for remap planar transform controls. We can select the position center source, scale x percentage, scale y percentage, and rotate z, and go to animation, add expression. We can twirl these open and link the position center source to the layer 3 transform position, the scale x to the transform scale X value, and then link the scale Y to the transform scale Y value. 
and then the rotate Z to the word rotate because there's only one value in this case. Just to show you one more little thing while we're here, I can easily increase the size of the text in the case that this was an effect for a commercial or something where I wanted the text to be tracking along with the object. I could just add times 3 to the expression for x and the same for y and it will be 3 times bigger but still tracking along with the book. Now we can take a closer look at that hand we added back in at the end of part 1 and see that there's some black fringe around the edge. We can easily fix that with our refill plugin. We have a few tools that allow you to shrink a mat, refill alpha and refill choke and refill grow shrink. We can go back to the comp where I added the hand and I'll simply add refill grow shrink. We're going to select the shrink or grow for the shrink grow mode and enter negative 0.75 for the shrink grow size to have it shrink and then the feather will make that about 2. I'll leave everything else in the default settings. You can see the black fringe has gone now. Okay, so we've covered how to be able to export with masks, mats, corner pin, tracking, and stabilization data from Mocha, and how to deal with it inside After Effects. Our only issue was the lack of open shapes for Mocha, which we handled via the Mask Avenger plugin set. We hope this makes a lot of Revision Effects users happy campers.